Fino Black, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, I'm going to show you a bunch of stuff here in this basically static nuclear radioactivity, light curvature. The sun, and I'll even show you some actual factual data pictures that will show you that the sun is a nuke. And everybody knows it. I mean, scientists know it. Uh, physicists know it. Uh, nuclear fusion, the sun, and then basically I showed you the fact that there is radiation on Mars. Remember they did the radiation test up on Mars and I showed you that it's over 230 some counts per minute on Mars. Okay, That's actual factual. There's plenty of people that want to send people to Mars, ladies and gentlemen. Jump on their spaceships. Go get a good dose of radioactivity, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, Actual factual. Meteor mayhem don't really care about the mayhem, okay? They messed with my, me being able to upload videos as soon as the asteroid meteorite hit, okay? Asteroid comes into our atmosphere, blows up, becomes a meteor, and then becomes a meteorite, okay? Nuclear history of Chablinsk, okay? Remember that, okay? Static attraction, magnetical attraction, okay? Nuclear magnetical attraction, okay? And basically, and yes, ladies and gentlemen, the things that Vino Black could build, could build or would build, and yes, could or would, will, oh yeah, more than likely, uh, do I have a taser that if I touch you, I kill you, and I could turn around and touch and kill who knows how many other people before it basically gets, you know, yeah, self-made, yep, don't go buy anything, you make it yourself, okay? So, anyway, this is some information from the CERN laboratory and basically the actual factual is that one quantum that is smaller than a quantum uh, of a nuclear atom is actually heavier okay is heavier than one quantum but smaller than one quantum molecule of an atom proton and I'm trying to get into molecular uh, molecules uh, yeah it's it's amazing ladies and gentlemen anyway uh, I've Yes, not dangerous at all. No, I'm not. Don't, damn straight. Just don't piss me off. Don't touch me when you're not supposed to touch me. Zap. Okay, so anyhow. And yes, ladies and gentlemen, as soon, as soon as this stuff happened over there in Russia. I don't know how much I'm cheating on footage here, but uh, lots of people basically, we all know the insurance game, okay? So over in Russia, there's not much of an insurance game. Everybody has tons of people who have a car and got money. They have a webcam on their dash cam. So the idea that they, and they basically explain it. And even one of the biggest propaganda news machines here in the United States of America turned around and told everybody a lot of truth of what goes on over in Russia because they have dash cams on their vehicles. So when the bad boys try to, yeah, people should think about that over here in the United States of America. Basically have a dash cam just like the police do. Okay, it's basically for your protection, so that the dirty cops don't. And there's no such thing as dirty cops. No, no, no cop has ever went bad in the United States of America, which is actually a big lie. So you can check that out. History cops get in trouble. There's judges that stick each other's noses up at each other, and they never get in trouble because the idea that they can get away with what they get away with, because they don't prosecute each other. They're members of the bar. So anyhow, actual factual. As soon as all the Asteroid, meteorite, meteor first, then meteorite, asteroid, meteor, then meteorite, and it's just sizes, ladies and gentlemen, okay? Then it comes into our atmosphere, asteroid, and then it becomes a meteorite, I mean a meteor, because it blows up, and then it becomes a meteorite, and it might have just been a meteorite and then blown up, doesn't really matter. It comes from an asteroid belt. Come around basically same time as our object from space and yes folks static electrical okay static magnetical electrical and then we have what happened over at Fuka Fudge up two years ago not even really on the date okay we're in 2013 okay and it's static electrical radioactive Magnetical electrical is up going into our atmosphere. Okay, and this is back on 2011, so you can imagine, and it's still burning. Okay, there's still, they still have issues over there. Okay, TEPCO, 
Royal Family of Japan. Okay. Then we go over to Russia. Okay. And I'm not sure if that is a... Uh, but you got to remember where Treblinsk is at. What is an RAR? Static atomic energy. Okay. Massive amounts. Because they didn't seal it off like they did Chernobyl. Sure, they only sealed Chernobyl off, and then they tried to say that they sealed Chernobyl off underground. They drilled holes and everything like that. As far as we know, Chernobyl's still going to ground. Okay, going to the core of the earth. And more than likely, this stuff over in Japan is also, okay, radioactivity is tremendous over in Japan. Okay, they know it. As long as you don't touch it, you won't get burnt. Okay, it's higher in the air and everything like that. So, I think it's going to basically go into some, uh, yeah, what is in your soil, ladies and gentlemen? Radioactivity, ladies and gentlemen. That is the United States of America there to the right, and that was back in 2011. And all that cesium numbers there, 137, 134, it's not good for you, ladies and gentlemen. So, this is historical of Chernobyl getting everybody the hell out of there when the Chernobyl incident. Uh, that's actual radioactivity that did that, ladies and gentlemen. Took that helicopter right the flip out of the air. Yes, people died. Tons of people died concreting this thing in there were some very there's still to this day there's some great Russian heroes that basically saved a lot of population in the in uh, Russia Ukraine okay so actual factual all this nuclear is out there uh, static electrical uh, what is in your rain what's in your snow and then basically watch the last video and I show you what's basically going on with uh, the snow is basically making uh, Geiger counters go off like crazy. Okay, uh, you have to pay attention to it, and then we got to worry about that there. Then I've tried to tell people, you know, it's all black and white. So I'm not out to. I'm just basically sharing factual, actual data. Okay, so everything is out there, and then there's some statical. I believe that is from uh, one of the nuclear plants with their static. That's atomic energy going into the air, okay? That's not lightning. That's, well, it is, but it's man-made atomic lightning, okay? And yes, we get... Uh, that's not me saying anything. That's just from somebody's video. Karma is a bitch, I guess. So basically, actual factual, though... Uh, you know, then you got to worry. We dead fish. We know about that. Fuka fudge up is a major, 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 major F up. Okay. Uh, I was going to make this and I'm going to get to hurry up and get out and into space. And that's, that is a helicopter getting knocked down by, from massive nuclear radiation from an enemy. Sorry, but because you know, a Russian guy died or whoever was on that crew because they didn't have uh, at Chernobyl. They didn't have remote control helicopters, from what I understand. I don't believe so, and I'm not sure if that doesn't really matter if it's Chernobyl or if it's over in uh, Fukushima. There's kids losing their, lost their hair, uh, radioactivity. And there you go. This helicopter gets over top of the radiation, or actually might have hit the blades on. Uh, they actually might have screwed up and hit the. Uh, yeah, whatever, but there's Chernobyl and its history and it's that's all factual actual and there's still, you know, whatever. Go over and visit uh, Russia and see how it's affected everybody that's still alive over there through DNA. Okay? So watch the last couple videos and I've basically got my new channel and everything like that. But basically, as you see, we're getting uh, electrical energy from way out, way out. More than likely, this is gamma rays coming along. And they're, yes, they are radioactive more than likely. And they're scooting along. And then, yes, Earth's over here. And we've been getting the, the uh, effects of darkness 
which basically I believe if I pop through our videos here that I've got ready to go here with Sechi is there you go we got darkness out in space okay and yes slight curvature in what is up and around in by and yes so we stay illuminated but we get flicker and I've showed you at the Hawaii cams before and so forth and so such but now see this is the darkness and we've have from the footage from the 19th and I'll hit play on this and you're going to see the dancing of our our static electrical energy that holds us in space and as you can see now on the 14th through the 19th I was having trouble getting footage from B and as we go there see if we get darkness out in space and everywhere so then we don't get really much light curvature on earth so it'd be interesting who says what when and as you can see and watch the clock here of when we're getting darkness during the middle of the day and stuff like that in certain areas then if there's winter and overcast a lot of people are not going to notice it that much okay so we are at a definite wild polar angle out in space as you see how our luminosity gets real big but actual factual you can see that if you watch the b footage and then the a and you go to jpl and you realize that this is a big ass planet that's over here off of a sechi a and you're not that's not mercury that you're seeing there now when i go We'll play the, the footage here that they do show that that's Mercury, and that's possibly what I was showing that's in flame so much as you can see how huge Mercury's looking because of the static electrical storms that we are ending up getting out in space that makes Mercury look so huge right now and everything like that. Okay, and then yes, we are, we're zoomed up at 400 so we can go along and we'll see that electrical signature of that gamma ray that's coming across from out in space. And let's pop down real fast to a good. Hopefully we get out of here, and now we're not having trouble, so... And it's not my computer, it's called Big Brother is mirroring me, and I don't care, it doesn't bother me. Okay, now that's supposed to be me doing that, but why can't I click out of it? Because I'm talking, and I don't care if what you don't scare me. So, it's called SCADA, ladies and gentlemen, Supervisor Control and Data Acquisition, and I don't want to play with my...